Absolutely. Words certainly cannot describe what it takes to forgive the person who killed your only child. But as 10 News Daniel Sackton shows us, a mother found the strength to go far beyond forgiveness when the person who killed her son got another DUI charge. To capture the love a mother has for her only child. He was always very photogenic. Pictures do what words cannot. The little smirk on his face and just kind of shows you what a little devil he was. <laughs> for Kim Ledford, these pictures are all that's left of her son. And these pictures are the reason he's gone. It's a picture of um, Dustin's car the night that he was killed. I mean, you can't even tell what kind of car it was. On July 10th, 2010, 24 year old Dustin Ledford rode down the Cleveland bypass, heading to his girlfriend's house. At the same time, Tiffany Isaza, drunk and high on meth, left her two babies at home and headed down the same road in the same lane in the wrong direction. I think Dustin saw God at 12.09 on July 10th. And I'm grateful that God chose to um, take him and him not have to suffer. After recovering in the hospital, Asaza started an eight year prison sentence. Each time she came up for parole, Kim fought to keep her in jail. But six years into the sentence, she gave up fighting. We fought parole twice. The third time I went to her parole hearing, she had been in for six years and I asked them to let her go. I had to forgive to start to heal and I wanted her to know that I had forgiven her. Over time, forgiveness turned into friendship. The two began speaking at events together, got part of the Cleveland Bypass named after Dustin, even awarded the Dustin Ledford Scholarship together. After I got through speaking, I would say, this is the girl that um, killed Dustin, but it's not the same girl today. And I really believed in my heart that she had changed. On November 11th, 2018, Tiffany Asaza was charged with another DUI. My first thought was, how on earth do you drink and drive again after you've killed somebody? And I think my biggest hurt was that did my child not mean anything to you that you would go out and do this again and take a chance on killing somebody again. And then on December 18th, a third DUI charge. I guess part of me just wants to shake her and say, what are you thinking? Was it not enough to take Dustin's life and all the people that have been affected because of Dustin? Can you forgive her again? I forgave her for killing my child. I'm not saying that I want her to go back out and drink again, but um, I think the Bible teaches us that we have to forgive. Yes, I would forgive her again. We reached out to Tiffany, but didn't hear back. Soon a judge will decide her fate. This is what happens when you choose to get behind the wheel impaired. Kim hasn't spoken to Tiffany since her latest DUI, but if she were to, she'd ask the woman who took her son's life to turn her own life around and be there for the children she still has left. In Bradley County, Daniel Sackton, 10 News. A judge just revoked Tiffany's bond this afternoon. She was out on bond, but now she is in jail until her March 4th arraignment.